Hi, Leisure World. I'm Susan. Welcome to class today. We, I'm so happy that you are giving me some feedback, I mean, verbally or through email about the different classes that we're doing, and we're going to continue doing them here. Um, if you want to, you can leave comments in the section below here. So if you have any other suggestions on different types of classes that you'd like to see or whatever you want to say, positive or negative, it's all good. Okay, today's class is going to be a Pilates class. Now we're going to just do some basic Pilates moves and I'll instruct you and give you modifications as needed. You should always consult with your physician before engaging in any physical activity. By participating in this online exercise class, you assume all dangers, hazards, and risks of such participation. The exercises demonstrated by the instructors in this online class are physically demanding. So if you're unable to safely perform these exercises, please modify them for your own safety or choose a set of different set of exercises. So we're going to start out with Pilates. I want you to, uh, with our breath, I want you to sit up nice and tall, those shoulders are just above your hips. Now, some people get confused with Pilates and yoga, oh, it's the same thing. Actually, it's not the same thing. There, you're right in the fact that there are some overlapping positions and poses that Pilates and yoga share, but the breathing is altogether different, and that's what I want to I want to focus on right now. So you're sitting up nice and tall. That chin is parallel to the floor. I want you to pull that belly button in. Okay, so place one hand on that belly button. Now I want you to inhale slowly through your nose. That belly button's engaged. Now exhale through the mouth forcefully, but keep and pull that belly button tighter. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, pull those abdominals tighter. So you can feel that that core is nice and active. Inhale through the nose. Abdominals engaged. Exhale, pull those abs tighter. One more time here. Inhale through the nose. Exhale forcefully through the mouth, pulling the abdominals in. So those abdominals already should be feeling a little love because we never really relax them. My abdominals are engaged this whole time, okay? So when you're at the microwave, say for instance, or if you're, uh, what I like to do is if you're sitting at a traffic light and it's red and you don't know what you wanna do, so you can practice your Pilates me method of breathing right there. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth, and just by doing that type of breath, you can feel those abs actually working. And with our Pilates, it is working the abdominals from the inside out. So a lot of people talk about the six pack, which is the rectus abdominis. We're not really focusing on that. We're focusing on the transverse abdominis, which really helps with the low back and the supporting of the low back. So that's why it's very important to keep those abdominals engaged. Now we're going to be moving on. I'm going to lay down here and there's a couple other positions that you need to be aware of and I want to share with you right now. So right now, <clears throat> my shoulders are away from my ears. My shoulder blades are pushing into the mat. My ribs are not popping up and my feet are bent. My knees are on the floor. I mean, my feet are on the floor, my knees are bent. And if you can, you'll notice right here, I can stick my hand through my low back. And that's normal. And this is called your neutral spine, okay? Which is important because some of our uh, exercises will require neutral spine. And a lot of them require the imprinted spine. The imprinted spine, I want you to take your index fingers on the tops of your hip bones and your thumbs on the bottom of the ribs. Pull the belly button in, inhaling here. And as you exhale, give me a teeny tiny little pelvic tilt. So my pubic bone, everything is pushing up, but my back is engaged into the mat. That is your imprinted spine. Your, my abdominals are still active. Inhale, 
exhale and slowly release. So I'm gonna pull my, my shirt up a little bit tighter so you can see the movement here. Inhale through the nose, belly button's engaged. Exhale, little pelvic tilt. Inhale and release. Exhale, abs in, pull the belly button tighter, pushing that low back into the mat. A couple of things to be mindful of. So I'm gonna go back to my neutral spine. If I had a little drop of water here, my water is gonna be staying contained right here in this little, as I imprint, in this little indentation here, as I imprint that spine. We don't want the little water to fall out. So it's just a little pelvic tilt, if you can see how that's operating. Now keeping that low back into the mat is critical when you're doing some leg lifts. A lot of people say, oh, that hurts my back. Well, because your abdominals aren't engaged, you wanna keep that belly button in, imprinted spine, and then those legs will operate appropriately and the low back will be activated as well. So we have our breath, inhaling through the nose, exhaling forcefully through the mouth, but keeping those abdominals engaged. Right now we have that neutral spine, and here is our imprinted spine. The shoulders away from the ears, the shoulder blades are retracted down into the mat. Very nice. So we're going to begin here with our first exercise. We're gonna start off with a neutral spine. This exercise is called your ab prep. So our hands are right down by our side. You wanna be mindful, you wanna keep that fist distance between your chin and your chest. Pull the belly button in, inhaling here, activate that core. As you exhale, little pelvic tilt, lift head, neck, and shoulders, and reach those fingertips toward your heels. My shoulders are away from my ears. Now I'm looking between my knees. I've got that fist distance between my chin and chest. I've got that imprinted spine. Inhale here. Exhale, and then slowly lower as we lower those hands, shoulders away from the ears. Inhale and prepare. Exhale, go ahead and lift. Reaching the fingertips towards your heels. Again, I'm looking forward and up on the diagonal. Inhale, exhale, belly button in, and slowly lower back down. Inhale here and prepare. Exhale and go ahead and lift. Keep that core in. The lifting comes from that core. Inhale here. Exhale and lower. And one more time. Inhale here and prepare. Exhale and go ahead and lift. Nice job. Inhale, those abs are engaged, my low back into the mat. Exhale, and slowly lower back down. We're moving on, so I'm gonna sit up nice and tall. My feet are flat on the floor, my knees are bent, shoulders are away from the ears. We're moving on to what's called a half rollback. Now, you're gonna go, your upper body is going to kind of position itself into a C curve. That's what we kind of call it, a C curve. Shoulders away from the ears. Those legs are hip width apart. Those arms are extended. Now my shoulders aren't up here. You wanna keep those arms down away from your ears. Pull that belly button in, chin parallel to the floor. Inhale. As you exhale, you're gonna slowly roll back to that sticking point. So maybe you're just here today, or maybe you're down here. It doesn't matter. Go where it's comfortable. If you need to, those abs are still engaged, inhaling. You can always grab behind those thighs to help get yourself all the way up into that seated position. Inhale, exhale and slightly roll it back. Not all the way down. My abdominals are engaged, inhale here. Exhale, pull that belly button in, focus on that core. Sitting up nice and tall. Inhale here. Exhale, go ahead. Slightly rolling back. It's a half roll back. 
Remember, if you need to, grab onto those thighs. Inhale here. Abs engage. Exhale. Sitting up nice and tall. Give me one more. You're looking good. Inhale here. Exhale. My shoulders are away from the ears. Inhale here and prepare. Exhale, pull those abs, focus on that core. Pull, pull, pull. Nice job. Feel free to get a break, to get a drink as needed and take a break as needed. Listen, the thing is this. I'd rather you do a few really good focused exercises than a whole lot of bad ones. It's not work, it's not gonna work for you. Just if you can only do two of them, that's great. Maybe you can only get one today, that's good. Maybe another day you wanna try and get a little more and that's fine too. So just do what your body allows you to do and stay focused and just do a few good exercises than a whole lot of bad ones, okay? All right, so sit up nice and tall. This time we're gonna roll all the way down. Inhaling here, exhale, and with control, slowly lower all the way down. I'm gonna reach my arms up overhead. Now be mindful, when those arms are overhead, I don't want those ribs to pop up, okay? I want you to be mindful that when you exhale, those fingertips come together. Inhale here, my fingertips come apart. Exhale, my ribs lower, my shoulder blades press into the back, and my fingertips come together. All right, we're moving on to another classic Pilates move called the 100s. I'm just gonna scoot down so my head's on the, onto the mat. I'll show you all the different options. All right, so first of all, we've got that neutral spine. I'm gonna lift one knee to tabletop and left knee to tabletop. Another term for Pilates, that means those knees are directly above those hips. Now, in doing so, you may have noticed I've got that imprinted spine. That's where I want you to be with that imprinted spine. Option, first option. We're gonna inhale for five and exhale for five, keeping those knees bent, keeping that low back into the mat. Those hands are by your side. This is option one. So we'll inhale here. Watch me first so you can do all the options. Inhale here. Exhale. Okay, so that's option one. Option two, you can lift your head, neck, and shoulders, keeping those knees bent. Again, inhaling for five, exhaling for five. Be mindful every time you exhale for those five breaths, you're pulling that belly button in, low back into the mat. Option three, extend those legs, keep the head, neck, and shoulders down onto the mat. And you're gonna pulse. Option four, head, neck, and shoulders are lifted. You're looking toward those feet or you're looking between those knees, that imprinted spine is it tucked into the mat, those hands are by your side, fist distance between your chin and chest. So 10 times, five, uh, five inhales, five exhales, 10 times equals 100. Let's go. And remember, take that break as needed. Inhale for five. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Pull those abs in. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Shoulders away from the ears. Inhale. Exhale. Halfway there. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Two more sets, take that break as needed. Inhale, exhale. Last set here, inhale, exhale. Nice job. Go ahead, lower the head, neck, and shoulders. Bend those knees and hug those knees into your chest. 
Maybe rock it side to side for a little massage for that low back. Now, if you need to, whenever you're doing those 100s, you can always have a hand here to help that head and neck, but I don't want you to pull on the neck, okay? Keep that in mind. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to what's called a roll-up. I'll show you different options, and this is kind of a challenging, a kind of a challenging Pilates move. <clears throat> so, uh, let's start with option one. We'll keep those knees bent. We'll start with those hands overhead. Okay, now notice my ribs aren't popping up here, but I still have my neutral spine. My abdominals are engaged. So I'm going to inhale here and prepare, lifting my head, neck, and shoulders. As I exhale, go ahead and grab behind those thighs to help pull yourself up. Inhale, exhale, and slowly lower reaching those arms overhead. Okay, now I'm moving on. I'm going to extend my legs, belly buttons in, shoulders away from the ears, chin looking up. Inhale here and prepare, lifting the head, neck, and shoulders. My arms are just above my chest. Exhale, maybe grab onto those thighs. Sitting up nice and tall, continue with that exhalation, reach forward. Inhale, sitting up nice and tall. On the exhalation, we're gonna slowly lower one vertebra at a time, keeping that belly button in. Those arms stay just where they are. Reaching those arms overhead. Again, watch the ribs, they don't pop up. Option three, your most advanced option here. Inhale here and prepare. Exhale, pull that belly button in. Using that core, Reaching forward, inhale and lift, exhale, slowly lower. We'll do three more here, inhale and prepare, exhale, belly button in, reaching forward, keep squeezing those knees together, inhale, sitting up nice and tall. Exhale and slowly lower. I think we have two more. This is your most advanced option here. Elbows to the temples. Inhale here and prepare. Exhale. Reach forward. Inhale, stack the vertebra on top of each other. Exhale, slowly lower with control. That belly button's engaged. We've got one more, guys, so pace yourself. Inhale here, prepare. Exhale. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, and slowly lower. Good. Now go ahead and roll yourself up to a seated position. We're moving on to what's called the spinal twist. Now, you can have those legs open, <clears throat> about mat width apart. Again, I want you to stack the shoulder blades on top of those hips. Pull that belly button in, sitting up nice and tall, that chin is parallel to the floor. My legs are active, that means my thighs are nice and tight, my feet are flexed. When we do our spinal rotation, I, we're gonna go to the right first. I don't want you to lift that hip up, and I don't want one leg getting longer than the other leg, okay? Be mindful of that. So, belly button's in. Inhale here, those arms are extended. My legs are active. Inhale and prepare. As you exhale, I want you to rotate to the right, bending that right elbow, looking over that right shoulder. Exhale here three times. Inhale, come back center. Exhale, rotate left. Inhale, back center. Those hips are anchored, shoulders relaxed. Inhale, exhale and rotate. Inhale, back center. Exhale. Inhale, back center. We'll do one more set. Right and left counts as one. Inhale, exhale, rotate. Inhale, exhale, rotate. 
Inhale, back center. Exhale, lower those arms. Very nice. So my legs were active. You want to keep those hips anchored when you do that spinal rotation. Okay, so now I'm going to come to the front of my mat. I want to massage my spine. So we're going to do what's called rolling like a ball. <clears throat> now, be mindful here that you're not rolling on your head and your neck. Option one, you can keep those feet on the floor. You're going to tuck that chin in. Pull the belly button in. Inhale, roll onto the shoulders. Exhale. Sit up tall and you can put those feet down. Okay? Option two, those feet start off the floor. Again, same move. Inhale, roll onto the upper back. Abs are in. Let's do four more. Inhale. Nice job. Okay, we're going to go on and roll all the way down. Get that drink if you need to. Now these are just basic Pilates moves and I'm, I'm going through them rather quickly. We're going to move on to what's called a bent knee stretch or a straight leg stretch. So let's go ahead and bring those knees to tabletop. Right there. Right knee up, left knee up. Low back into the mat, that imprinted spine. Option one, you can bring that right hand on the outside of that shin, other hand on the inside of the shin. You can keep the head of that neck and shoulders down onto the mat. We're gonna exhale, pull that right knee into your chest as we extend that left leg, and then switch, and switch and switch. Now here's where I'm saying, I've got that extended leg. You can have your leg up here or you can just keep it bent, but I want that imprinted spine. That's option one. Option two, lift the head, neck and shoulders. Exhale and switch. Again, you're looking forward and up. This distance between your chin and chest. Now for the sake of time, uh, that's option two. Your third option, those uh, legs are straight, head, neck, and shoulders lifted. Extend that left leg, right hand on the outside, left hand on the inside. Head, neck, and shoulders lifted, just distance between that chin and chest. And we're gonna do four sets, right and left equals one set. Pick your option, take your break as needed. Let's go, exhale and switch. Pull those abs in. Last time. Nice job. Go ahead, bend those knees. Now keep those knees at tabletop, hands to your head. Option one, you can stay here. We're gonna do a crisscross. It's called crisscross with Pilates, otherwise known as the bicycle. Hands at your temples. Please don't pull on your head and your neck. You can rotate that left shoulder toward that right knee. And then come back to center. Right shoulder toward that back knee. And center, you can stay here. Otherwise, you can lift the head, neck, and shoulders up off the mat, keep that imprinted spine. We'll do four sets. Back shoulder to that front knee. Exhale, and center. Exhale, and center. Exhale, and center. Squeeze those obliques and center. Give me two more. Exhale. And center. Exhale. Last set here, guys. Exhale. And center. And last set. Last one. And center. Go ahead, hug those knees in. Lower your head, neck, and shoulders. Maybe massage that spine. Very nice. Get your drinks as needed, grab behind those thighs, go ahead and roll yourself up. Oh. And here's one of those exercises that I said um, goes 
works in yoga and in Pilates, and it's called the bridge, okay, shoulder bridge. Actually, we're gonna roll back down, hands by your side. Keep the shoulders into the mat. You're gonna have those legs hip width apart. Knees are hip width apart. Pull that belly button in, walk those heels closer to your butt. Now, pull the belly button in, inhale here and prepare. As you exhale, you're gonna give me that little pelvic tilt, keeping that core engaged and then lift that butt, lift one vertebra at a time as you squeeze the butt cheeks and those hamstrings. Now you're resting on your shoulders, you're not on your head and your neck. Fist distance between that chin and chest. Option one right here. Inhale, abs in. Exhale, slowly lower. One vertebra at a time, keeping that belly button in. All the way down. Good. Inhale here and prepare. Option two, exhale, pelvic tilt. Push into the heels. You can keep those hands up or you can keep them down. Shoulders are away from your ears. You're not resting on the head and the neck, just the upper shoulders. Inhaling, exhale, and slowly lower. Option three, inhale here and prepare. Those arms are just above your chest. Exhale, little pelvic tilt. Maybe you want to reach those arms overhead, but watch those ribs go pop. Inhale. Exhale and slowly lower. And give me one more here. Inhale here and prepare. Exhale, go ahead and lift. Pressing into those heels, reaching those arms overhead. Inhale, exhale, and slowly lower one vertebra at a time. Very nice. Let's roll over onto your tummy. <clears throat> All right, so for our breaststroke prep, <clears throat> You are going to have your hands right by your ears, your forehead into the mat. My elbows are tucked in, my legs are hip width apart. Pull that belly button in here. Inhale here and prepare. As you exhale, go ahead and push into those hands and those forearms. Keep reaching through the crown of the head. That belly button's in, protecting that low back. Inhale at the top. Exhale and slowly lower back down. We'll do two more like this. Each time, most more advanced option would be to take those forearms off the mat. Inhale here and prepare. Exhale and lift. Pull those shoulders away from the ears. Keep breathing into that stretch, squeezing those shoulder blades behind you. Inhale. Exhale and lower. We'll do one more. You can continue with these when I'm done. And remember, keep those forearms and hands down on the mat as needed. Inhale here and prepare. Exhale and lift. Keep reaching through the crown of the head. Squeeze the butt. Squeeze that belly button, protecting that low back. Keep breathing here. Maybe you wanna pull those elbows back. Here's five. Two, one and hold. Keep breathing, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, exhale, and lower. All right, we're moving on for time's sake here. Let's do that frog and heel, heel squeezes. So my knees are bent, I'm opening up those knees out to the side. I'm resting my forehead on the back of the hand. Again, it's very important to keep that low back in to support that low back, that is critical. And we can't just do abdominal moves without working our low back. So that's why we're incorporating this in right now. So go ahead, my heels are pushing into each other, my toes are turned out, my feet are flexed. Inhale here and prepare. Abs in, exhale, go ahead, press those heels into each other and let's lift those knees up off the floor. 
Keep pressing, inhale here. Exhale and lower those legs. Inhale and prepare. Exhale and lift, pushing the pelvic and pubic bones into the mat. Keep pressing those heels into each other. Inhale here. Exhale and lower. We'll do two more. Inhale here. Exhale and lift and squeeze. Inhale. Exhale and lower. This last time I want you to hold it up there and we're going to pulse it. We're going to feel it in the butt cheeks. You're going to feel love. Already here. Inhale and prepare. Exhale and lift. And then just lift and lower. Here's eight, seven, six, four, three, two. Hold it up there, keep breathing, feel the love. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, exhale and lower. Woo! Good butt work. All right, go ahead, extend those legs. Hands underneath your shoulders. Inhale here. And then go ahead, push back onto those heels and sit back into your child's pose. Or for Pilates, it's the shell pose. Nice job. And then go ahead and lift. And you can repeat this. Of course, you can do these exercises. I would recommend eight to 10 times, um, but we just condensed it a little more. This is your basic, basic Pilates exercise. So don't forget to leave comments below. And I wanna thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time.